Welcome back to the Scallywag channel. Uh, Marine Tech Mike here. Update on the Lady M. Pretty exciting. Last week we showed you the video of bringing the boat to Marine Tech and talked about the story, why it was donated. This week, well, it's rainy outside, it's Washington, so we brought it in. How fortunate are we? Love trailerable, trailerable boats. Just pull it into the shop, no moorage. It's gonna be a great season for restoring this thing. So we got the boat in, brought the engine in. First thing we're doing is we should be doing a boat tour and seeing what we got, but no, we're mechanics, electricians. We're digging into this engine and trying to figure out what happened. I mean, this thing is, is kaputs. And so um, one thing previous owner did is spend over a thousand bucks. Uh, they yarded the engine out of the boat and took it to Tacoma Diesel, a couple hours south of here. Really good shop, really good reputation. And it's a Yanmar, it's a 4BY2. It's a four cylinder, 150 horsepower. So they really were packing a lot of power in this little thing. And it's a common rail, but not high pressure. So it was a tweener engine. So it's in between, you know, mechanical and the new high pressure common rail. So it is computer controlled and what I've found on the internet is that they don't make this engine anymore. So that's unfortunate. And Tacoma Diesel started the inspection. It said it had lots of salt water uh, leaking in the manifolds internally. I, try, I got some close up here. Definitely evidence of salt water into those manifolds. Uh, they said the bore, they put a bore scope in it. They said the bores, the connecting rods, main bearings all have rust on them. So this thing has had salt water throughout. It's got an injector that's seized in the cylinder head. So even if we try to remanufacture it, they said we'd probably have to uh, find a used cylinder head because the one injector won't even come out. So they said with this amount of damage, the idea of rebuilding the engine is not a good idea. It's really probably not salvageable. So we don't know where are we at. So why did this happen? That's what we want to know. And so we looked inside and the exhaust a uh, hose that goes into the water lift muffler. It, it has some fall. I don't know if it's enough. Okay, up here in the engine bay, you can see we got a sea basket with a couple of three intakes. That's kind of slick. One of them goes right here. I'm assuming that's our wash down pump. And this is where that exhaust dumped in. This was our seawater intake hose. Um, the shaft is slid back, but it's in pretty good shape. But you can see there was definitely uh, some fall from here down to here. But I'm thinking that's maybe six inches. Um, and then it goes through this exhaust water lift. It just has a quick little 90 right there. And it crosses over and comes out the other side. It's got a flapper over it. Um, and so I don't think the boat was sitting at anchor or anything and getting water up into the exhaust. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Fun project, lots of space, pretty big engine bay, huge hatch that opens up, access the engine. So that's all good. Nice little design. We looked at the log. So I got the ship's log right here. Um, they kept great records. This thing had 675 hours in the 13 years young that it is so i mean under that that engine should go thousands and thousands of hours so what's going on we got to sort this out i joined the facebook page for ranger 25s and we'll put it out there um, to try and figure out what actually happened i saw just this morning a post there's a ranger tug uh, with a brand new volvo in it and i haven't heard back so i'm pinging any of you out there have information or can help with these 25 foot ranger tugs would be much appreciated that's why we're doing a quick video this week i want to get as much information so leave some comments down there we're trying to figure out why why it went wrong before we can can fix it and where to get parts we'll go to the yanmar page as well and see if, if parts are available for these engines and so maybe we can rebuild it we don't know the ranger tug factory not very helpful um, I emailed them and they're like, well, we don't put inboards in the 25 footers anymore. You got to go up to like the 29 footer to get an inboard. They just started putting outboards on these, um, which might not be that the inboard diesels were bad. It's just more expensive and harder to do. Outboards are easier to maintain. 
faster production to build and whatnot. So that might be the, the reason. They just didn't give me any reasons. Um, they, we wanted to tour the factory and see where these things were born, but they're not up to doing any video tours. So, so we're kind of on our own for this project, but it's what we do here at Marine Tech. And so it's not a big deal. Um, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get a new engine stuffed in this thing. So thanks for watching.